Hey everybody, welcome to the Late Late Horror Show. What is going on? I'm Dino. Ted. That's Ted. Ted yeah. Ted. What, what is going on? Uh, the Howling, 1981. Now this, Joe Dante directed this it. This brings one of our, good you know, memories yeah. to me because we did a, uh, a, a Shutter oh. advertisement for this. Oh film. yeah, the, yeah. This was the movie for that we did for the advertisement. Right, yeah. right. They they invited us the to do a, They invited us to do a. Advertisement. How do you think we can afford all and this? And Shutter, yeah, yeah. And, they uh, wrote us a big check and said, "Hey, why don't you?" Was it a big check? You, it was use, one of the big checks. Use, use code late late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They came and actually gave us. Uh, still try that code late six, late. Maybe it'll still yeah. work. Maybe you get a free month for a free month. Yeah, I'm not sure if it works yet, but yeah, I give it a shot. But it was cool that they yeah, yeah. asked us to do it for a movie that is really freaking Cause, cool. Because so. we're because we're old school. Yeah, right. you know what? I mean, looking back. I mean, watching this, it was a long time since I watched it the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, watching it a second time, I mean, shit. I mean, American Werewolf in London, The Howling. I Made mean, at I, the I, same time. I, I think we know much. that. I, I mean, big difference. Even shared I mean, some of the same special effects guys who left The Howling to go do that. I, I mean, I'm not saying The Howling isn't great. I, I love the movie. The, the, there's a I like the story in The Howling the better better than American Werewolf in London. In The Ho Really? Yeah. I don't like that dead guy, his best friend haunting him all the time. It annoys me. And then the weird Nazi werewolf things coming in the house with his dreams and stuff. I love the American Werewolf in London. The and, transformation and this scene is, is like, better. This is like way and more like, memorable. Oh, hell yeah. But there's I, I still by far, some good transformation yes. in, in the howling as well. The, the Not werewolf, as graphic. Though. Yeah, the, the transformation scene and uh, the doctor's uh, office there at the retreat mm -hmm. it, it is a great, great... It's called the colony. the colony. The colony. But anyways, uh, my quick thoughts are: I mean, I definitely love the beginning of this film. Okay, mm -hmm. um, I love because it takes place in a porno theater. Yeah, yeah. I, I so. love the ending of the movie, except for, and we'll get to it, the very end. Oh, I like that. The like last thirty seconds. I like that. Oh, you enjoyed D. Wallace as a child Chewbacca. Well, it's D. Man. Ted. Probably looking the best she's ever looked in any what? movie. No, no, I'm not talking about Dee Wallace, how she looks. I'm talking when she transforms at the very Spoiler end. alert. Uh, I think they've all probably seen The Howling before. People. Yeah, right. They're waiting for the remake. If not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like I said, everything in this movie was great. The middle was started to slow up a bit, but no, no. I love this movie. Mm -hmm. But... You make every werewolf look awesome, and then D. Wallace changes at the well, end of this flick. She doesn't do full blown change. She just starts. She changing. turned in every other werewolf. Has got big haunches, and you can what? see the face and skin behind the hair. And but you still want to be able to see that it's her. She's a cute little puppy. What are those little tiny cute little? Pincher, schnauzer, Squirrels? thing. I, I don't know, but she was furry, Ewok, oh my. Chewbacca. You should be nice. She contacted us way back in Ted, the Ted, I, I think know. after our first That's podcast, not Dee Wallace's fault. Re reached out to our show. Yeah, yeah. First episode. On Twitter. I th reached which out, which reached movie out was it? That, we did um, Island of Lost Souls. Yeah, it was yeah, our first yeah, yeah. podcast. Not even video. It was just yeah. audio only. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And, and contacted yeah. us and... I'm yeah. very excited. Hell yeah. And I'm, that's when I'm like, oh, holy shit. But I think we scared her away because she hasn't contacted us since. But anyways. Um, no, D she saw what we looked like probably. D, D Wallace, yeah. <laughs> D Wallace plays Karen White. And um, her. Why it got to be white? Her, I don't know. Her fiance is. Um, Bill. St yeah, Bill. I, I was jumping to Cujo. Is Bill, who also plays Steve Kemp in Cujo, who. Messed around with her, oh, with her yes. husband, which I I hated that part. I, I was ripping her, her to death in the movie, mm -hmm. even though you know it's, it's not her story. They were engaged during King. the making of this movie, but I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had a connection, but so even when he was hitting it, he was really hitting. Yeah, it. but couples in this movie and couples, well, not and kind of, you yeah. know, messing around on the husband's back and um, he, he, Cujo. He got. So uh, a lot of loving going, mm -hmm. you know. Even the Cujo is a dumb movie, but uh, dumb book. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and, and he was very shoving. shoot the dog in the head when it's laying. Down. Bill was. I would have crack crack 
boom, crack, yeah. crack, boom. Yeah, the, the, w- again, there were a lot of things in that. It would have looked like a bowl of There, there were a lot of things in that commentary that we talked about that was just <laughs> yeah, like, go watch you got to be kidding me. What the I hell? Know. Cujo. You, anyways. Um, but yet the idea is not so that frightening, I, but no, no, yeah. it just didn't translate to the film all that no, well, it, in my opinion. It was a good film. Cujo, the book was better. Cujo's but. a good film. The book was better. Oh, uh, I wouldn't go so far the, to say it's a good film. The, the, there were just things in the movie that were well, just like, holy shit. Some people dig hell? it, I guess. But I mean, Oh, hell yeah. yeah. But um, I just get annoyed at those things. And that's in every you know, horror movie. When you got the chance to, you know, end the guy once and for all, and, or the creature, right. or whatever, and you don't do it. Okay, but The Howling. The Howling. Oh. Um, you know, great film. Um, starts, starts off starts with like off. the hunt for a serial killer almost. Yeah. Who has reached out to Karen, who's Eddie, a news I, reporter. I think Eddie? Eddie. His name's Eddie. And this is the actor's first performance oh, in a movie. Is it? Like, he, he had two leading roles on in like Broadway, something like that. Um, Wasn't very, he in something else after this? Very acclaimed. And, and then he's, he's he was pissed off during the oh. movie. He, he, he goes, he's like... You know, he says, I, I'm in two leading roles in Broadway and this, and I'm sitting there for six hours and makeup, and he, he hated it. He hated it. Well, but act. everybody in the movie, the story says, that they were telling him, well, hey, next time, make sure you read the script all the way through. Uh-huh. You know, so it's like, learn your lesson, buddy. But anyways, yeah. Well, look continue. who you're working with. Um, yeah, Eddie. So he has yeah. uh, reached out to Karen, Karen, who he seems to have a little thing Karen. for. And it's kind of cool. He leaves these little smiley face stickers at the mm-hmm. scenes of his crimes. Yeah, that was kind of cool. So he has previously, before the film starts. There's a real story out there. It's the smiley face killers. Yeah, the smiley face. Or killer. Um, Look that up. It's very interesting, the storyline be- behind that. Is that a movie or a real story? No, true. True, oh, right, I'm on true it. crime stuff, man. But anyways, go ahead. And um, has set up a, a, a time to meet. And she's all wired up and, and the cops are... Hopped up. Know. She's all hot. She's well, you know, I mean, you know, they're going to try to, you know... Dewall. She's something. the bait. Oh. She knows she's the bait. And she's she looks good in it later on when she. I know I'm. Yeah. Dead, I love interrupting Ted. What's um, that? Love when she's playing tennis later on. She's in those real shorts. And I'm all, okay, it's, go. it's ooh la la for an hour and a half. <laughs> and um, but no, I do. I always found her very lovely. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, the cops are circling around. They're gonna try to keep a low profile and try to catch this guy. Yeah. Um, so she goes in a phone the, booth. The old down low, they call it. The DL. The, the DL. Yeah. So what, she goes in a phone booth. She's making that call to the cops yeah, trying to make phone sure booth. You know, she's going to they can hear anything. But the reason I mentioned the phone booth is because <laughs> she's, there's a guy standing outside the phone booth. And if you watch real carefully, and there's lots of these things. Lots in the of movie, little Easter eggs. And, and There are. If you're a yeah. classic monster movie fan, werewolf fan, like yeah. we are. Yeah. Um, and we're probably the only ones. Uh, well, no, no. There's, there's a couple no. of you out there. Queenie loves werewolves. But, and... Um, mm-hmm. She's a werewolf. Lots. Oh, well. A yeah, lycanthrope. Right. Yes. Um, standing outside that phone booth is Roger Corman, who gave Joe Dante his start mm-hmm. um, in the business. Uh, he kind of edited trailers In Risky for Business. I didn't know that. But. <laughs> oh, you, you said the business. I was just the going business. along. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but no, throughout the film, whenever there's... Uh, Someone watching TV, like the Wolfman is on, or, or you know, some yeah. Looney Tune or Disney cartoon that's got a wolf the in big it. Bad wolf. Little things yeah. like that, yeah. Uh, throughout the whole, even at the very end of the movie, after the credits roll, there's a little scene from the Wolfman um, at the end, just like a little, just a whatever scene. Right, you know? right. But it's all there, and if you're into the, and lots of names of characters, which we'll get to throughout the film, have to do with either directors mm-hmm. of people who've made van- uh, werewolf movies or actors. Right. I can't even remember them all, but when I, you know, when it comes, Terry. if you look at the credits, you start seeing names, and you're like, oh my god, all right, yeah. all right. What was the one you said, Terry? Um, the- oh, their one friend is named Terry, and her last name's Fisher, and that's for Terrence Fisher from yeah. Hammer, who directed uh, Curse of the Werewolf, their yeah. only werewolf movie. Yeah. For some yep. reason. Hey, yeah, homage. Is, they do it as well as Halloween 2018 did. Oh, as, just as well. Just as well, but yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit more on the nose. You know, I, I, loved, I loved the mood of this movie. I mm-hmm. loved the pacing. I, I love, you know, it, again, the, the di- different 
kind of where we'll film that this is, like mm -hmm. at the end. You know, there's spoilers all throughout. We, we jump around sometimes. I'm not spoiling anything. But, they should know better. But, but you watch the, the damn movie before you watch Oscar. Right, right. But the very end, you know, I thought it was awesome that the whole, the colony, and I'm jumping around. We'll, we'll get back to the beginning again and go in mm -hmm. chronological order. But the, when, when you found out that, hey, you know what I mean? And, and you, you kind of realize right off the bat when they're at the picnic at the very beginning and stuff that, uh, you know what? I bet you they're all. Oh, this is a clan of werewolves here, you know, mm -hmm. and this is the the colony, and you know, I love that. And now you know this is based on the, a book too, right? An original novel. Yeah, but you you can but tell the, me which what the name was again. Oh, well, it was the Holland, but the, but the novel is actually <laughs> quite a bit different, and there were what? two sequels to to the novels. Okay, okay. But um, you made me look like a doofus there. I'm just saying. Yeah, you know, you know, this is and, made by you know, but it's from the uh, book instead the of a, instead of a colony, it's just like a whole town. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you're bringing it back. You mm, know, again, Ted needs to get the old I get it, brain I get it moving working. here. I a get little it bit, working. Yeah, yeah, no, no. And um, but all the names are pretty much the same in the book yeah. and all that. But a lot of the things that happen, the basic plot is there. But um, yeah. Joe Dante has been on record saying he didn't really care for the book very much. Matter of fact, he was talking about it one time at a convention or, or whatever, and someone raised their hand and brought it up, brought it up, and it happened to be the author of the book. Really? And kind of called him out a little no bit. No way. Yeah. What was it that you didn't like particularly? Yeah, something like this. So you're saying book? you didn't like it? You're like, nah, it's not really a good book. You're like, oh, because I wrote it. You know? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, you know, put wow. foot in mouth. But hey, you know, hey. if you didn't like the book, hey, you know. Yeah, I, I'm sure the movie made it where he sold some more copies. Hell yeah, maybe three or four more copies. Oh, book. you think? You think? You think? Yeah. Back, well, back in the '80s, man. Any hey, time a movie paperback books. Yeah, I mean, people went up and hit that up, man. Because any time a movie came hit, out, hit up the girls, hit up the books. Well, no, I'm serious. Any time a movie came out, there was usually like a tie-in, uh, either like an adaptation, mm -hmm. or if it had been based on a book like a Stephen King right. or something like that, the book always came back out. Right. And uh, some people collected those, especially like the movie oh, yeah. uh, adaptations. Have be you know the paperbacks were collectible because you know after that initial run of the movie. Not exactly the easiest book to find. It's, it's a shame that the paperback books like that they they don't and hold up. They don't up. last. They no. don't last. They don't hold up very well uh, for whatever reason. The acidity in the paper mm -hmm. or whatever. But it's because, because they, yeah, it's, so cool. The 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 paperbacks were always. You're right. They absolutely do that. They when they're making paperback books. Mm -hmm. Uh, wood pulp takes a long time. I don't know why we're getting onto this subject. But <laughs> wood pulp takes because, a long because, time because how much to break wood? down. Yeah. So they actually will put acid in it mm -hmm. to speed up the speed process. Up. And over time, that acid starts to come actually through the paper. Actually ruins the book itself. And that's what gives you that smell mm -hmm. and the, the yellowing. I remember I had one. Remember the, I because had one. the covers of the those paperback books were just fantastic. Took the words right out of my mouth. I used it, to they have were collectibles, the man. Dark Crystal. Yeah. And it had, you got to look it up on, it had the most awesome cover. Mm -hmm. And I got it like through the school book club, you know, I mean, yeah. the school book club. They still have those. A lot of those old. And I remember putting paper on it and like tracing it, yeah. you know, because the mm. cover was so cool. And I oh, love that book. Uh, same thing with a lot of the old film noir movies mm -hmm. back in the day with the covers. I mean, you know, people collect those, like Dell, uh, yeah. they, they bring out like a lot of paperback uh, novels. Paperback oh. novels. Um, paperback writer. <laughs> Can I put my own twist on it? Um, <laughs> God damn you. You don't mess with the Beatles. But, <laughs> but no, no. So many collectibles, even to this day, the, mm -hmm. the, the line of the... De the um, uh, James Bond novels. The, yeah, all the, the different editions. Some yeah, people collect certain ones. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the, and they all had their own special like covers, covers and, and stuff things, like yep. that. You know, Edgar Rice Burroughs, those covers to those oh, paperback pulp the ones, the ones fiction that I had, books. Yeah, they're great. They were, uh, some of them had uh, Frank Frazetta covers. Mm -hmm. and those were my those, them, those were my Harry Potter books growing up, man. Just yeah. you know, Edgar Rice Burroughs books. But nevertheless, getting back to the movie. To the howling. Um, so, yeah, she, she meets him. Uh, you know, Eddie gives her instructions. She's to meet him in a particular porno booth. Ooh. And the five she and knows nine. which one it is. Oh. oh, and I love when she walks into the porno store. Like all the guys are just like, oh, putting the magazines, but chasing all the customers. Right, out. right. Oh my god! And I guess you out. probably would, you know, yeah. like oh, there's a lady in here. I'm out. But of I mean, here. look, can't, can't ladies, you know, want to look at something with some big dicks or what? something like that? I mean, or, 
Why not? Why not? Big old hairy of a jays or whatever they're into. I mean, <laughs> big old hairy of a jays. Well, some of them like that. Some of them like to plant and, and tomatoes in it and water the I shit. I hear you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fill that up. Um, and she knows which booth to go into because it's got the and, sticker. And the whole t- yeah, the smiley face stickers on there. But the whole time too that she's not really in contact with them because the reception or whatever. All the neon lights on the city streets are screwing up the... Yeah, what was with that? The, uh, the, the, the I don't know, it's not wired tapping. Transmission you know, it's a, you know, she's the, wired. Yeah, the transmission of the signal and, and the neon lights. They, they mention that, like, for some reason, yeah, I mean... Before neon, the days of Wi-Fi. And, how weird. But, but yeah, nevertheless, she's going through with it. Mm-hmm. Um, Back when there were phone booths. Yeah, yeah. And then speaking of booth, she goes into the jizz booth, mm-hmm. and uh, you know Eddie's already in there, and he pops a quarter, and the movie starts playing. This movie was actually made for the movie. This wasn't like a movie that existed. They they, oh, they filmed yeah. that, and you know it's a little bit of an uncomfortable film. It's, yeah, it's a, a little being risque, assaulted yeah, yeah, on, on a bed. It's not terribly graphic, but yeah. it's it's not the coolest thing to put in a movie, I guess. But the idea of it was to make her uncomfortable, right? Right. You know, because he says, you know, I want you to watch, watch the screen, don't look at me, watch. Mm-hmm. You know, he wants her to watch it. Yeah. He wants her to be uncomfortable and put off. Mm-hmm. So. And uh, he, he starts doing a little jibber jabbering about whatever, and then he starts turning into the wolf. But by this the time, wolf. the wolf. <laughs> but into by this the time, wolf. you know the cops have found her. Her husband's finding her, and uh, the the rookie. There's there's the, the the buddy cops come in there. There's the old, you know, he's mm. you know, two shakes of a lamb's tail away from retirement, and there's right. the rookie who's you know got his bullet in his pocket like Barney Fife on Andy Griffith, yeah. and he's ready for the next. <laughs> 40 years, you yeah. know. And uh, here's a little noise, and he just pops caps into the porno booth. Yeah. Ends up shooting Eddie. Not killing Eddie, but shooting Eddie. And blood starts coming through the door. And I'm just wondering, going, well, he thinks, how does he know he didn't shoot her? Right? I don't know. He, I mean, I he know. just blindly shoots in there. Yeah, I know. But, you know, she does get assaulted, not scratched or bit or anything. I think I heard her holler, he's off to the right, you know, which, which is her left. She goes, and that's my left. And you're right. And then there's the old cop, like, ah, the salty cop. He's like, oh, nice going, kid. Yeah, that's quick draw McGraw here. <laughs> yeah. So she's rescued, but visibly shaken up. Oh, yeah. And uh, But they got him. You know, as far yeah. as as they all know, they got him. They got mm-hmm. Eddie. They got the, I forgot what, what name they were given the, you know, his killings. Yeah. The smiley face killing. The smiley, whatever. But, uh, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, no, and and then um, she pretty much starts having like um, she's just having like PTSD kind of exactly. Shit That's exactly going what she's on, having. You know? I mean, even when she tries to go on the air, what the next day? Yeah, she, she just can't. Oh, and by it. the way, the boss of the news station. Did you recognize him? Kevin right. McCarthy from Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You're next. You're yeah. next, the OG one. Yeah. Well, actually, okay. he, he was in the uh, the 1978, which is my favorite one. Oh, yeah, mine too. Um, yeah. He's actually in that one too. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, that, okay. he was the boss. So, okay. Little little things, especially. Yeah, no. And Joe Dante is great at that because he loves. Right. Joe Dante is like my kindred spirit, I feel like. You know, we like all the no, same we, shit. Uh, and over one the of my years here on our channel, we've we, we've done oh a lot of Joe Dante films. I mean, that's we did Gremlins, we did bread and Halloween, butter. we did The Burbs. I'd like to do Looney Tunes back in action. That's one of my <laughs> favorite. I think it's a brilliant movie. No. I saw it in the theater. I was one of four people, I think, and I laughed my butt. Uh, off. I don't think it goes on the channel, but but there's I lots agree of old monster you. movies like they go to like Area 51, yeah. and there's the the Metaluna monster, whatever from this island Earth. There's a mm. Dalek. I mean, there, yeah. there's you know. Kevin McCarthy, from, <laughs> you know, but he's all, looks like he's black and white. Yeah, well, and I, I mean creatures from all over. You'll recognize I, I've everything never seen in the movies. You so. never saw it? No, it's actually pretty good. Oh, okay, and yeah, you know, I'll give it a watch. I think I feel like Brendan Fraser kind of got like a a big mm. fu from Hollywood. You know, it sounds like he had some bad luck here and there. I always yeah. liked him in almost everything I ever saw him in. He, really. You know, Monkey Bone and The Mummy yeah, and, was, and yeah. Gods and Monsters, which was about mm-hmm. uh, James Whale. Yeah. So, yeah. No, no, yeah. Um, yeah, so you're, I, you're hitting on some some of his good flicks. I mean, you, right. I don't know if you mentioned any of the bad ones. I mentioned Monkey Bone. That was okay. But, well, if you like. You well, know, anyways, yeah. Nobody likes it, but right, I mean, right, right. you know, it's a stop motion movie, so, you know, I have to like it. Mm. Everybody's you don't got have bad movies. Well, I kind of do. But, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, so, so where were we? We were... Um, 
Well, oh, uh, so, she so she's that, having like, to... she's on the she was supposed to give the news story, kind right, of talk right. about what happened, and she just freezes. Yeah, and, and she she sees um, Doctor George Wagner. Um, he's played by um, uh, oh, what's his nuts? I forget his name, but he, he, he was. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. It's, it's but he irrelevant. was uh, John Steed on the old Avengers TV show. Right, right. With Which had... Um, yeah. Um, God. That hot chick. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, every time he had a, a sidekick, she was always a hot chick. But. Yeah, yeah, right, right. No, no. But yeah, he, he's, he's, he plays the doctor in here and um, basically does a, a, a Three Stooges bit and, and <laughs> says... Um, yeah, you know, yeah. I think you need to get away for a couple weeks. Yeah, you get know, some mountain for air. your nerves. Get some for your nerves air. for your nerves. <laughs> you know. This is them thar hills coming. <laughs> well, you know what? Whenever I hear something like this, that's I, I think of Mo going up in a mountain Rocking with the three Rockies Stooges or whatever, and them thar hills and them thar hills with Lor, uh, Laurel oh, and Hardy. Oh, that that's uh, the best way. Yeah. <laughs> Some good mountain air will do you good. And the spring water, it must be the iron air. Some moonshiners dump their load in the spring. <laughs> drink in the water. Isn't it a funny color? Yeah, it's all the gets, iron in gets, it. Gets them drunk, and they think it's just the iron making them feel good. <laughs> That's the good mountain water. <laughs> That's how you're uh, anyway. supposed to feel. <laughs> okay, oh, so, so yeah, yeah. Um, right. So, our real loves. Anyways. Um, and it doesn't yeah. help that um, their friends, Chris and Terry, um... You know, talking to the coroner and all that. I don't know if this, if I'm out of order a little bit, but they discover it's kind of back and forth between Terry and mm-hmm. what's his Chris. Cox, Chris. Yeah, Terry but and they Chris. They discover that um, and and Karen and um, Bill. Mm-hmm. But Eddie's back not forth, quite dead. They go to the the coroner's and you know they want. Well, to they check. think he is, but yeah, when they and check, when they go to look at the body, they go to open the freezer and it's just shredded. Yeah. Cheat in there, but the inside of the freezer is all tore up like somebody busted out or forced the door but, open. Yeah, and they, they but yet didn't... the door was closed and didn't look like it had been forced open or anything. But the insides all tore up. Maybe when he maybe he popped it out and and when he went out he slammed it shut no, with his big arm hitting it. Maybe, but, but but nevertheless they really didn't bring up the fact that it's beat to shit yes. in the inside. Don't you love corners? The, the corner movie, only said, the, "I know." Yeah, even going back I to know. like. Burke and Hare kind of movies. Yeah. They're Old always school. eating their lunch over, laughing. Flopping and... their sandwich right next to the brain. I was watching one. Which, I... first of all, what's the brain, and if, even if it's an autopsy, doing right on next room, to sandwich. room temperature table that you're yeah, eating? I can't on. remember if it was uh, a Hammer movie or just, you know, one of those AIPs with Peter Cushing. Mm-hmm. The guy that's, you know, doing the, you know, he's, he's the guy, the caretaker at the morgue there. They had to take a body or something, and, he, and he's yeah. like, "Oh, I'm glad you're not taking her. Gotten quite a partial to her." You know, like, I mean, he's just basically admitting he's, he's screwing this dead. Oh no, man, I've gotten quite a partial to her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's still nice and loose. Oh yeah. god, how terrible! But yeah, they're always like that in the movies, man. They're just yeah. No, I hear you, mm-hmm. but um, but yeah, I mean, so Eddie is gone, and yes. um, not you know, good, ne- never good. No, no, no. I like how a little bit later on at the colony when he shows up that the bullet's still mm-hmm. in the forehead. And he waits to see Karen at the colony in right. the doctor's office, the big before. transformation scene, before he takes that bullet out. But anyways... For dramatic effect. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 and we'll, we'll talk about the transformation scene when we get to it. But to kill a vampire. Right. I mean, not a vampire werewolf. Well, same. Forgive me. Same. Yeah. Uh, you know the sil- the silver bullet. In this movie, yeah, only way, only right. way, silver bullet. is the silver bullet. And um, and I believe in, in, in the film, do they I'm only a, change I'm during the full moon, or can they change when they want? They can change any time they want. They can change any time they, they want. They state that in the movie. Mm-hmm. They, they say you know because some the books that they because they're the shape store, shifters. Book That's store. right. Yeah, they're they shape shift. That that was Dick yeah. Miller. Yeah, yeah. It was the bookstore. Yeah. So, so it's like, yeah, any time of day, you, they're able to sh- shift right. their shape. So Bill and Karen, they take uh, Dr. Wagner's advice to go to the, the colony. And he's like, oh, that's nice people, good people, grounded people. As soon as they flash there, you hear the guy going, yeah! <laughs> and if you don't know, that's John Carradine, mm-hmm. who played in lots of Universal Horror oh, films yeah. back oh, in yeah. the day. Yep, that was John mm-hmm. Carradine. He, he, David Carradine's father. He plays off uh, a, a dumb... 
old man, mm-hmm. and really he's he's not. He's 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 part he's, of the you know clan, the pack, the clan, the clan. The clan. The clan. Um, you're gonna get us. You're gonna get our video taken down again. No, no, not that. <laughs> when you speak of werewolves. It's Clan the, of the Sea! It's the River Clan! Sea. Please, please! <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, no. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're all having this, you know, once she gets to the colony, having this picnic. First of all, she questioned him, like, why are you asking me to your re- resort or whatever, you know? Like, and he goes, well, there's only a select amount of people I right. do this for. Right. And when you get there, you end up seeing that there's, like, 30 people there. I mean, it's like and none okay, of what are you, all that highbrow? What are you doing in the city that you're taking the two weeks to go up there with her, and there's these many people up there? Uh, I don't know. A little crazy. Not but, a whole lot of rest. But but yeah, you you, you get up there and you're introduced to a couple well, characters and the stuff ones we like meet that. are Mar- Sex and Masha. Well, that's who isn't that good looking? To tell you well, truth. she is when it drops. She when, she's when just she, dark. When she unclothes dark. a little later. She's, but, she's got the dark hair and the dark eyes, and that's what's alluring. And, and who's her brother? What the hell is his it's name? It's funny. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's, 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 he's sort of a wolf boy anyway. Yeah, he's kind of a really... He's a cool character in yeah. this. I mean, he, he's, he can trek. Yeah, we don't need dogs. We got him. <laughs> he almost looks like a wild dog to begin with. And, and, Damn, and I can't remember the character's name. I know. I can't remember now. I, I, I didn't <gasps> you know write everybody's name down, you know, but... Nevertheless, he's pretty cool. He's a cool character. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Sasha. Isn't that what you said? Well, Sasha. Marsha. Marsha, Marsha. Sasha. Sasha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Marsha is, is um, it's funny how, you, you know, you look at Marsha and you go, hmm. And then, you know, you, you just don't know what's underneath that dress sometimes, mm-hmm. you know. And, and, and she takes it off and I'm like, oh, what? What? Holy shit. Holy shit. But, um, yeah, looking Interesting. good. Interesting. But, um, yeah, she's got this, you know, t- sh- nymphal type yeah, you know, vibe to her. I think it, somebody even, think says, even says. I think they even say that. Yeah, yeah, you know, she's yeah, she's a nymphal. She's got serious problems. Because she's hitting on um, Bill. Right in front of his wife, yeah. right. And he's kind of being the stand-up guy and saying. Not much. Uh, yeah, I'm getting out of here. He's like, Not yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, maybe you know. later. Yeah, yeah. But, um. Yeah, so you know, I so that's and, the colony. Yeah, that's the colony, and I love them. They're in their room too, and and, and you know they're at ground level, and, and the the windows wide open while they're right. sleeping. Let every wild beast in the in the and you you start hearing all the wolves going whoa, you know all the wolves howling. And I could stuff, never and sleep. I guess most I'd be standing there with a shotgun. No, no, waiting. me too, me too, man. <laughs> Aimed at the door, or the window, <laughs> but. It's always, I guess, midnight or after that. They all get together out in the woods and just have at it. I guess. Big old orgy. Just have at it. Big you know, hey, I'll meet you out in the woods in a few. You know, so like you a hear a big them. centipede. Yeah, you hear a lot of that <laughs> come, going on. And, and and there's a couple killings of, like, maybe some cows, I think. And yeah. Something like yeah. that while she's up there, too. Um, I think even someone who says, why don't we just raise the cows to for food? Yeah. And you know, but they like the hunt. Yeah. The hunt is, is part of what being a wolf is about. And, yeah. um, in the meantime, yeah. Chris and Terry are still doing a little investigating. They find, uh, you know, they go to you know the cops know where Eddie lived now, and they go to his place and I see a lot of drawings. You know, obviously smiley stickers, but one of the drawings we're going to see later. Lots it's, of drawings. It's a it's a scenic view, mountain, lake, whatever, and uh, that yeah. is at the colony. And once they start, because I think Terry goes to visit. Karen out there has these drawings out there and sees. Yeah, we, you know, they we, see that. That's we didn't the mention place. at the very beginning, after he was Eddie was shot, mm-hmm. they go to his uh, little apartment. Which when they, when they enter the apartment kind of building, his taxi driver apartment, kind, whatever it is. Yeah, when they enter it, what did it remind you of? <laughs> right off the bat, it reminded me of the kind of the same apartment as um, in Basket Case. Oh yeah, yeah I guess. Same Little hotel room. Yeah, 50 layers of paint. And it just Love. looked exactly like that. But it wasn't because when they go in there and you look out the window, it's like mm-hmm. ground level too and stuff like that. But I'm like going... That was probably a set, man. Basket case was the real deal. That's I'm like a going, real place. I'm like going, this looks just like basket case, man. You know, I, yeah, I can see... we don't have Belial. I can see what's, what's your tits <laughs> next door. The, uh, what's your tits? You know... <laughs> 
What was her name? I don't know. Okay, it doesn't matter. But, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah, you know, I could see her getting ready to come out and go, what's going on? Even the what's dude going on that was, that, was in, in there looked like the, the caretaker of in Basket Case. But anyways. Um, I wish Frank Hennenlotter would get another movie off the ground. Oh, I'm telling you. But, but they go into the room and they see all kinds of, like, draw, drawings. Drawings, mm-hmm. pictures, pictures, and, and like He's you know, newspaper pictures. clip outs and stuff of like what's been going on and stuff, the killings and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, uh, so and then flashback to what you were talking about. You know, th- they're going to eventually find kind of a little shack, uh, with that kind of room in there, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Terry and Chris, and well, not, not Chris, so they'll know he, that that's where Eddie yeah. came from. Eddie came from the column, yeah. But the Terry line. comes up first, and mm-hmm. Chris lets her go, uh, to do her. Goes to visit Karen, you yeah. know, because she's not really digging many of the people that are out here. They're all a bunch of phony. Well, baloney. she's worried because the stuff starts happening. Yeah, you know, and she Bill's starts not acting normal. Yeah, well, okay, okay. And Bill gets Bill gets bit one he, night. Well, he gets busy with Marcia. Well, that's after. Oh, uh, then he get bit by her. Oh no 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 no! He got bit. We first we presume it was her that did it. Well, right. When we don't know for sure, when but actually I presume gets, it was March. Yeah, in werewolf form that did it. First, they see there's killings of like the cows and stuff. So mm-hmm. they get a posse together, and Bill is like joining posse. Joining the posse. Um, Big hairy posse. Yeah, it's real wet oh. posse out there sweating to death, and um, sweaty posse. Yeah. But he, he, they're looking for, you know, and he ends up shooting at some big rabbit. Man, big ass jackrabbit. It was a jackrabbit. It was a jackalope. Fast and, as um, fast can be. Yeah, and, and, and the, and the <laughs> Look y- what I killed. <laughs> now what do you do with it? <laughs> and the young, the, the guy, the young guy. The brother of Marsh's brother. Marsh's brother says, hey, go, go up there. She'll Wait, cook it for you. Yeah, it's a sin if you don't eat it. Yeah, it's cause, a sin cause, to kill something you don't. Because you're hopping right into them getting together, and that doesn't yeah. happen yet. Because he goes up there I, I, and sits in there, stampeding towards the clitoris. S- s- <laughs> takes his rabbit in there with him, and, and, and you know, I guess she's going to cook it for him, but yes. walks right up to him and just lays one on him and starts sucking. There's the a face good in. Hammer movie called The Witches, where they're skinning a rabbit, and the, the, I think they actually skinned a real rabbit. They yeah. just cut a little bit Probably. and just whoosh, just pull it right off. Oh, yeah. There's like, a there's a technique to that. Like oh, remember when we? No, yeah, there's a technique to but I mean, that. Yeah, you know, I mean, just I mean, you know, I'm not a butcher, so I don't I don't know how to do it. It's just yeah, we, we just watch it like to, oh, no, we don't know how to do that. But yeah, no, like it's, a, what if the thing was still alive? You know, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be good. No, that's but anyways. Um, uh, but, I felt like I was going to say something. Oh, you could have been. But well, they went to the. Oh, well, go ahead. Get up. To, get up to the. It was just. I, I, I was coitus. jumping to this. I mean, she. She just You've been wanting to get to it since the beginning. She just no. She, she comes right up to him and, and lays one on him, and, and he just first of all starts it, and then she mm-hmm. bites him a little bit and on probably the lip or something like that, and he pushes her away and just stampers off. Um, well, so, yeah, but so he gets that, bit legit later on, and that's... Well, right, right. That won't turn him when she's not a werewolf. Right, but I'm just pointing out that he did go there, and he was being a stand-up guy, but mm-hmm. um, then then we end up getting to where he, uh, when he's out one night, you know, with, with the gun and stuff, like I think he was yeah. out still doing, a, you know, yeah. looking for stuff. Because they yeah. haven't found whatever did it. Yeah. The, the, it's all a big show. Yeah, the werewolf... To get him out there. Yeah, the werewolf jumps out. And it's cool. I mean, they're mm-hmm. very tall. That type of werewolf. Um, you know, uh, do I got one of my figures here? Where the hell is it? I'm trying to look. Shit. Oh, he's up there with the hair spiking up. But anyways, uh, yeah, it, it, he's of. he's kind of. He's the it's the long, tall werewolf type. And mm-hmm. uh, I don't know if there's ever right been a movie out. that's had a really, really good werewolf. You know, like, I think it's just a hard creature to pull off. Yeah. You know, I mean, because there's so many different styles. Well, frick, you know? the, the... Do you like, just turn it into a wolf, an actual Sha- wolf? What's the Sean Connery with, um... Well, no, even the, um... You know, what's the uh, video game one? The What's-her-name does all those movies? God, why can't I think of the movies? Mila Jovovich? 
No, the other. She does lots of the other later. What's the other big werewolf film that there's like one, two, three, four? The Underworld. Underworld. The Underworld world film. Yeah, they're no good. Their werewolves are like big, gigantic CGI monsters, and don't like that kind of werewolf. Or then you get like Um, the classic wolf ember. It's just face makeup. Yeah. Or sometimes they turn into some sort of anthropomorphic. Which that's cool for the day. Like this, like a sort of half man, half half wolf kind of. Yeah, I think yeah, it's, it's just a, a hard is, creature to sort of pull off. Yeah. Do you go full on, you know, like prosthetics? Well, then you, you got go Twilight where puppets. they they turn into an actual wolf. Why'd you have but to mention that? I know. I'm so sorry, people. I I, I am I I am there's sorry. A, there's a movie that you can have diarrhea to. Yeah, yeah. The, just, okay. Anyways, um, so yeah, very very cool werewolf. Yeah, I, he's I, gonna I'm, start feeling the call. Yeah. Yeah, because you know. Well, okay. he starts getting the urge to eat bandaged meat, up because he was yeah. a vegetarian, right? Right. And, and when Terry comes up, uh, she's like, oh, yeah. "Oh, I'm so sorry, I packed that for you." He goes like, "Oh no!" Every now oh. and then, I really love to eat this. I'm, I'm hungry enough; I'll eat anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. No, he's just uh, now, is this before or after they went to the bookstore? They must have went to the bookstore after Terry was up there. No, no, no. That was before. Oh, they went to they went to Dick Miller's bookstore. Yeah, Terry and Chris. Yeah, I knew they. I knew before, we went, before, but it was before Terry. she went up there. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she didn't leave the colony and go. Hey, Chris. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll drive back and meet and you at the bookstore. Books and, okay. <laughs> What's wrong with I you? Can't, yeah, I watched it over a week What's ago. Wrong I can't, with you? Because we didn't do the show last week. I watched yeah. it like over a week ago. Um, I love that bookstore. I feel no, like no. Dick Miller's in there. It's like his I think little, we said that already, but yeah, Dick Miller's in Dick there. Dick Miller, who we lost. Recent God rest his 90 soul. Ninety years old. Yes. Um, a huge character actor in tons of movies. Oh, there's yeah. a great. I don't know if you got a chance to watch it. I, I recommended it, but mm-hmm. there's a great documentary about him on Amazon. It talks yeah. about his whole career. Um, interesting. Guy. Yeah, the the entire career mm-hmm. of yeah, Dick Miller up until a couple of years before he died. So. Yeah. So 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 yeah. Somebody and, followed him around like. From but his I mean, start everybody's got like when he died. a movie they love that's got Dick Miller in it. I mean, the guy's in just about everything. I mean, he's in Terminator. He's in oh you know, yeah, all he's, the he's like five hundred films. Oh, exactly. I think, but um, the most worked man. The reason in Hollywood, you know, he usually appears in Joe Dante's movies is because uh, Roger Corman mm-hmm. got hold of Dick Miller early on yeah. and, and did films with him. And um, then the guys that sort of like the next generation that came on board and started. Who Roger Corman gave a break to and mm-hmm. started teaching them the business, uh, like you know Coppola and Dante and, and even Jack Nicholson was mm-hmm. you know and, and Cameron. Yeah. Um, you know, it was like, where's that guy that used to be in all your movies? You know, he was always great in every movie. Mm-hmm. And you know, then he started getting work again and, and pretty much went steady. Mm-hmm. I mean, he even had a scene in Pulp Fiction that got cut, totally cut out. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, he, he, huh. The junkyard. Remember where they go to take the junkyard after? Travolta and Sam Jackson blow that guy's head off in the okay. backseat. Yeah, yeah. Dick Miller owns that that mm. garage. We only see his daughter. We don't uh, see. Yeah, we we don't. Wonder why they cut that out. Probably just for like pacing issues. Huh. But I understand okay. he was always a little miffed about that 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 he really? got cut out because. And I, I'm sure Tarantino wouldn't have cut him out if he. I'm sure he loves Dick Miller. I, right. Yeah, I don't I mean, think he would have cut him if it worked for the movie. But right, right, right. It's yeah. still you know you can see it as a deleted scene. It's there. Yeah. But. Um, you know, Joe Dante's used him, I think, in all of his movies. He was Mr. Futterman in The Gremlins. He was the garbage man in The Burbs. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, some very quick bit roles, you know, like yeah. in The Burbs. He's always, yeah. It's only a few minutes of it's time. It's like he always like, here, I'll just put a little love it. in there for me. Yeah. And he's so believable <laughs> in every role. Like, you just feel like when... You know, they leave that bookstore. Like, the rest of the day is just going on. And you wish you were oh, yeah, yeah. hang out in that bookstore with that guy all Right? Day. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's talking about, like, the nuns come in. They're, this isn't, like, an occult bookstore. It sells, like, yeah. all kinds of stuff like Very that. Very cool stuff, yeah. And, um, you know, they even ask him, like, do you believe all this stuff? He's like, he's like, hey, look, I'm, I'm just trying to make a buck here. Right, right, right yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. believe this. Yeah, thing. he pretty much says, yeah, come on, I'm selling like, nuns books, nuns come man. in, they're like, yeah, they're always trying to shoplift. <laughs> And there's a, if you watch that scene, there's a guy walking around, browsing around. He's carrying two magazines, uh, Famous Monsters of Filmland. That's uh, Forey Ackerman, who um, started that magazine, and he was huge in um, keeping, you know, monster kids 
abreast of all the new right. information coming out mm-hmm. about monster movies in the 50s and 60s. Um, you know, I remember having issues of that magazine. And, oh, yeah. You know, he's the one that first published that picture of the, the spider from the missing scene in King, King Kong. King Kong, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's kind of, you know, just a little bit. If you don't know who he is, you're not going to know that that's him. But, right. Or yeah, unless yeah. you, you know, look at stuff on, you know, IMDb, like trivia and stuff, it's probably there. Yeah. So, so, so cool scene in the bookstore there uh, with Dick Miller. But they as get always, some books on shapeshifters, and, and he's the one that educates them that they're shapeshifters. Right, right. And yeah. that's that's where they end up, that's where the silver bullets are. Yeah, he said some guy had him get them made. He's like, he never came never to get Never came them. to get them. So, you know, he, he had them special made, which Chris ends up taking when he goes up later on in the right. film. Pure silver, man. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot, lot of money sitting there on that desk. Like well, that's that. what Dick Miller hollered at him when he was taking mm. you know taking him out. He's like going, I forgot, yeah. You know, I gotta get that weighed, man. It's a lot. I ain't take that to a jeweler. Know how much to charge for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but um, but in the meantime, Terry is there mm-hmm. at the colony supporting, even though she goes off on this, like you know little walk of her own you know to by the lake which mm-hmm. i guess you know i guess that's all right but with what's going oh, on that's up there she sees, yeah you know you with what's going on up there you don't want to go off alone in this secluded area well, why not yeah but she does and it's it's she notices wow well, this is familiar then when she mm-hmm. gets up to the top she notices wow this is the scene of the painting the drawing, or from the drawing room, that right. she got from eddie's room at the beginning uh, so she's like, oh shit, um, which means she's starting to book it back and, um, you know, I, I guess get to the office to make a call back yep. to Chris um, to tell him, hey, something's going on here, which she does. Strange things are afoot at the circle. Yeah, so, so she she gets into Dr. Um, oh, what's Wagner. name? Yeah, Wagner's uh, office where the phone is and calls him up. I, I love how there's a, a tape recorder in there playing mm-hmm. too because... Earlier on, when she was by the window, she was taping. She had it ready, on the ready, to tape the the sounds of the wolves. How, this ain't normal, man. This ain't normal, man. You know? But anyways, goes to uh, Dr. Wagner's office and calls up Chris. And Chris is basically still business type and saying, you know, hey, d- do you see the files for the whoever uh, oh, yeah. name? The, pe- the, the names of the people, the patient or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The Quist. The or Quist. Some, yeah, Eddie Quist. Is, is it Quist? Yeah, Eddie Quist. Um, the maker of Quisp cereal, mm-hmm. um, which they don't really make anymore. Uh, but she's talking to him, you know, and saying, yeah, yeah, it's here, it's here, it's here. And I love the entrance of Eddie mm-hmm. when the werewolf just takes and grabs a hold of the files. Mm-hmm. That Isn't this that part? Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Grabs the were- big werewolf hands come down, grabs the files out of her hand. Really cool. And she's just like, holy shit. Didn't hear you him know? coming in. No. He crept and, on a come up. Mm-hmm. And basically just tracks her around the room and, and mm-hmm. picks her up. And you see the just the feet flailing about until, you know, and psh, she's gone. Dead. You know, yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah. Terry Fisher gone. Terry Fisher. Poor poor girl. Yep. Yeah. What happens next? I don't remember. <laughs> Um, pretty much, uh, Bill knows something's going on now, so he's well, going yeah, he's to, one of them, man, because he, he's yeah. already made Whoopi, and he's a werewolf, they turned into... But meanwhile... Don't you like how they're, they're, those werewolves are animated? Yeah. The ones that are making Oh, yeah, 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 there was a... Again... I guess they couldn't get puppets to... <laughs> yeah, you know, again, there were a couple things, you had the cool... A couple little cheapo things. Though. Yeah, little cheapo things, like... Cool werewolves throughout the whole movie. Well written, great movie. Even altogether. a little stop motion bit towards the end too. Yeah, mm-hmm. but but then you get that little cartoony thing, and then you get D. Wallace the last thirty seconds of the film with tons of hair looking like an Ewok. But anyways, those two things aside, if they could have just touched those things up, you know, eh. But I can overlook it. It's it's okay. But um, you know, B- Bill's booking it on his way up. But meanwhile. Not Bill, uh, Chris. But mm-hmm. meanwhile, Bill is making his way over to um, Marsha's uh, place. Oh, yeah. And they connect outside in the woods and, oh, yeah. uh, you know, make it the whoopee. And um, she scratches his back and all that. And oh, that, yeah. You like that. That transformation. <laughs> 
But that transformation scene when they were doing, you know, they didn't put a whole lot of money into that part of it, but it was still very, What's very cool. your imagination cool. do? You it was you... very, very cool. Um, Marsha down on the ground with her greenish looking face in here was not top notch, but. I mean, yeah, who's st- wanting to plow that when she's starting to look like that? Yeah, you know. St- like, Whoa, man. But still, but still very cool scene. Very effective. They, they, it did what it needed to do. At that point, you're just thinking, you know, Bill's. Oh, he's thinking he for God's sake. Bill's a prick now. I didn't get to see this at the theater. I remember seeing it on Channel 43, so I know they cut a little bit out here. Yeah, yeah. But but Bill's pretty much off with the colony members at this point. He's one of them. Gabba gabba, one of us, one of us. Yeah. And, 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 we accept her. We accept her. One of us. One and and to, to get towards the end of this flick here with D D Wallace, I mean, yeah. you know, how, how does it start? Well, um, um, finally, you know, the the, the where, where's the confrontation with with her and, and and Eddie? Does that happen before the? Oh, forgot that part yeah. too. Because um, well, you know what? We we, we overlooked to Terry when she went to Marsha's cabin. I think that was Marsha's cabin. Mm-hmm. Where she was went inside and stuff, yeah. um, and ended up being chased by uh, the younger brother of yeah. Marsha, and he was in werewolf form, and and she basically chopped off chopped his arm off. his arm off, so he has a nub With for a, a little while, yeah, no, yeah, little hatchet, little hatchet, and you don't know and, whose arm away. that was till later on in the film, towards the end. Yeah, that was before she got killed. Just, yeah. So, anyways, that was a very cool scene in the movie too. Um, but no, th- then we just hop on to well, Chris is like on the, his way. He he snags yeah. those silver bullets, and and you know because she tells him what's up. And this is the cool part: the ending here when D. Wallace mm-hmm. gets um, taken by you know. Right. Well, well, there's the confrontation with Eddie, where you know, like you said, he you know, reveals what he is. I'll he's, let Ted he's talk a while here, turn, so he doesn't fall asleep. Turn into the, you know, he he's standing there for ten minutes, transforming. I don't know why she's standing there watching him. Yeah. Now is the time to run. Yeah, that that was a yeah. <laughs> you know? I, I was thinking while well, he's sitting there going, <laughs> run, goddamn it, get a head start. Yeah. <laughs> and, and this is in. Um, the doctor's office yeah. too, that this takes place, and yeah, the, the tr- big transformation. We we should touch on that too, because it's it's the. How did one, she kill him? I don't even. Remember. It's the one thing everybody talks about. You know what happens? Through. I don't remember. You don't remember what? I don't happened. remember how Eddie dies. You don't. Does Chris show up and shoot him? <laughs> yeah. Oh, good, good guess. I, I did watch them. I just can't. I, it was a week ago. I can't remember. But yeah, the, the, the prolong a very cool transformation scene. It's the whole air. Bubbles, well, that's the buddy air shot, bubbles just, under the latex. Stuff and that was and, cool. You yeah, because uh, Robbie Bottom Bottom did that, and mm-hmm. then he would go on from there to go to the thing. Mm-hmm. You know, John Carpenter's the thing. So, I mean, obviously, I mean, you don't see a whole lot. Of money shots in the howling, but I mean, obviously the guy had talent because look what he right. did oh, yeah. when, when they threw some money at him, you know. Well, Eddie said he, um, you know, six hours of makeup time, you know, he's like, you know, this is ridiculous, but yeah, no, so the guy. It's all for the craft, man. Yeah, exactly. So we um, talked to Boris Karloff, who would sit in it for eight hours, put in a full day just getting makeup on. Mm. I mean, go look at the mummy. I know. How long did that mummy appear in the damn movie? And how good it that mummy look and you could throw the rest of that movie away but those, those moments where he's just eyes barely I don't think open you, I don't that's think, the creepiest shit in the world I don't think there's another mummy scene even present day mm-hmm. that looks that good no. and that real no, that looks, as the original mummy that in that face. That looks 100% legit. And I mean, it looks like the mud is there. And, and every, you know, just, the thing is, it's only there for a few minutes. And oh, I know. makes the whole movie. Yep. Makes the whole movie. Iconic. I don't need to see it the whole movie, man. That, that's right there. That'll freak you out the rest of your life. But what happens to Dee? A really cool scene. When, well, they, who, who drags her off to uh, where? I don't remember. She ends up in the barn. And all of the, the colony reveal themselves as werewolves to her. You know, Bill and, and everybody and Chris okay. is there. And yeah, no, no, yeah. I think it's really cool that they're like, you know, hey, come come with us, uh, Karen. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, like she's done something wrong, but, yeah, it takes her in the barn. Mm-hmm. And, um, 
Yeah, I mean, basically, this is where they all reveal that they're all werewolves and stuff. Hey, and somehow, <laughs> excuse me, you work 12 hours. I was busy today, too. Um, somehow they get the best of the werewolves enough to be able to get out and lock them in the barn. I don't know. I don't remember okay, exactly how so that um, happens. this is a bad week, guys. Uh, what? We skipped a week, so this is a week old for Ted. Why? Oh, Fill me um, in. Jesus Christ, you're jumping over everything. Did I gloss over something important? Well, I mean, you know, give some feeling and the people listening on iTunes. Oh. Make sure they know what's going on. Give them the Why feeling. Why do you need you all the talking? There's... I'm trying to let you do some talking <laughs> so you can wake the frick up. I'm sorry. I'm awake. Usually it is you talking, and I'm, my mo- mouth won't stop now, and and you're falling asleep because of it. <laughs> so I, I got to shut up, and let you. And, and when I do have you speak, you're going, yeah, um, at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what the hell? All right, tell me but what no, I missed. No, what did I gloss over? You know, there's a lot of shit going on in the barn with with. You know them coming up. The doctor actually makes an appearance. Well, has, yeah, he's a werewolf too. Ha, I know, but has a little empathy towards Karen to try to get her to become kind of part of this clan. And Marsha wants uh, nothing. Yeah, because isn't his whole idea about do. mastering the beast right within you? But everybody because, else because, in the colony is like, "F that ass. We want to be." Because Marsha brings up, which yeah. you forgot about, oh. the whole thing where. You know, we've tried to live amongst them for, you know, however long, whatever. And it just doesn't work. So They gave it about the, six months. The doctor's try isn't working. So Marsha's basically saying, hey, I'm in control now. Oh, Screw yeah. you. So, uh, you know, before we get to Let's the get end. wild. Um, and locked in the, you know, thing. E- even Chris shows up <laughs> no, before they lock yeah, him somehow in. Somehow they figure out a way to get out of the barn. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. The, the, Doesn't he drive his car in it or something? Well, like? right. The, not in it. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Fucking A. <laughs> so, so I, it is funny, though, that, that Chris... I mean, the, the barn doors aren't closed yet. Um, I don't close my barn door. Chris drives... <laughs> me neither. But anyway. Chris drives up like a bat out of hell. Bat out of hell. He's got the rifle. The silver bullets are in there. Is he leaning out the window, um, popping off caps? He's he's killed <laughs> he's killed Eddie already at the, at the uh, Eddie was doctor's Eddie. Office. Oh, that's where we find out he's got his nub. When we yeah. find out he's the one who got his hand shot. Oh, oh, he comes over like this. Yeah. Well, that's when they're in the I'm barn. I'm coming to meet you, Elizabeth, with my nub. <laughs> that's when they're in the barn and yeah, they all show themselves. Um, remember he, that. But he drives up because. Right in the nick of time, in the right spot, at the barn. That's right. Which in is, the nick of time. Yeah, in the nick of time, you know. <gasps> and comes out, and he, he basically just starts blowing one one at a time. And these are silver bullets. See, I, I know you remember right. the one one saying, you know, ah, you, it's not going to do anything. The gun's it. not going to work on me, man. And, and cr- c- crack, pow, and then, oh. Well, well because oh, he, goes, oh, he, goes, he goes, these are silver bullets. I wouldn't have said silver. I'd shot him first, then told him it was a silver bullet. Well, saying silver, these are silver bullets... Had everybody back off a bit. That's right. Back off! Otherwise, you got, you know, 20 werewolves jumping at you. Mm-hmm. You kind of start rapid you know. fire. Meanwhile, Dee's just going like this. If it was Clint Eastwood you from think the Sergio should... Leone movie, it had them all gone already. She should, right? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Karen should be jumping in the car. No. But, um... Eventually, they do. They, they Eventually. Um, they, they, they back up... The three, Marsha and a couple other uh, werewolves, into the barn. And, um, of course, close it and lock it yes. with the sticks the rifle in there to keep it shut. That'll work. And basically, goes your weapon. pours gasoline, you know, yeah, on, on, a, set that bad boy on a few I... spots and the brick. How could they not? Because the brick is going to go up in flames. Oh, yeah. Um, like a tinderbox. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and how do those wear? The thing looked like it was made out of wet wood. Wet cardboard. Why, why can't they just bust right through? I know. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, come on. See, that's man. not how the how they it was sh- in the book. In, in the book, they, they just set the whole town on fire. And some did get away because there's a sequel. With Chris and Karen. Yeah, and, and we'll, we'll get to that when we well, get to the end. We don't have to yeah, get yeah. to it. Just saying. Well, uh, in, in, unless Bill you say the survived, end. But but I'll, I'll Bill tell and Marcia survived in the book, and they come after them. In Mexico. So Chris and um, Karen rush off. 
Just saying. After the fire, and, and you're thinking most of them are going to get burned. But no, the sheriff's also out there, yeah. and he's one of them too. And he's like, yeah. and they go, oh, it's the cop, it's the sheriff. Oh, and who was that? That yeah. was, um, who was that sheriff? Yeah. I just remember from It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. He, yeah. he was the one, one of the ones talking on the CB to, mm. uh, what's his name? I don't know. but, but He's yeah, got he's, that squeaky voice. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, oh, damn, it's going to bother me. Yeah, he's in there. There's well, a maybe, million people I recognize. Maybe it'll show. pop in your head. Maybe. But um, but basically they get in there, too, and their car is destroyed by a, a werewolf who ends up being Bill. Bill and you know, bites Karen. Bites Karen on the shoulder. So mm-hmm. you know, hey, she's going to be a werewolf. She's a goner. Um, so basically, you know, they get in a cop car, all the werewolves kind of try getting there, and they speed off eventually. Make it up. And that's where you see a few stop motion werewolves there howling in the road. I like that part. Yeah, that that was cool. Mm -hmm. That was cool. And, um, basically get back to the city and, and, you know, basically her goal is to say, hey, we need to let the world know that this is going on and there's werewolves out there. They exist. So she goes... Gets awesome. ready for the news yep. after her thing. And, you know, this is the ending of the movie here where, you know, she starts to do her little monologue. And, and you know, they're like, you know, what is she doing? What's going on here? Mm-hmm. And, and basically she starts to transform yep. live on air. And, and Chris is telling them, no, keep it, keep it, keep it mm-hmm. going live. Keep it, you know. The funny thing you- is all the people watching... At home or in bars or restaurant, whatever. Yes. They, they don't think it's real. No, they think it's fake. Yep. They go, what and is you know this? what? <laughs> That's what would actually it's happen. A, it's a funny thing. If, if in real life you saw something like that, you would be thinking, yeah, wow, good effects. And some may even go, yeah, I don't like the effects they used on that. Because I've it, seen better. Even if it was real. <laughs> you know, but... Uh, which is very funny and interesting if you're in that paranormal field. Because that... Stuff like that happens. But that's an interesting anyway. twist to put on the internet. Like, no right, one right. even believed it anyway. But she totally transforms mm-hmm. into a little Ewok. Ugh, worst scene, worst scene of the movie for me. But um, Chris gets up and kablow, he yeah. shoots her, and and the manager goes, "Cut it, shut it off, shut it." Off. Well, might you know, as well now. Yeah. So you know, it it kind of ends there, then shoots to a tavern. Where they start going, 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 and, and I like the guy that's talking in there. He's like, uh, he's like, um, you know, you know, that was real. That was a real werewolf. You know, <laughs> yeah. and the guy next to him's going, ah, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, full know. shit. Yeah, and, th- and then they shoot right to Marcia sitting at the end of the oh, bar. Yeah. Like, Can I buy you a drink? You know, that, how'd that you thing. want that burger? Yeah, rare, rare, and that's the ending of the with movie. The, with the and burger then, getting cooked, and then it. There but you go. See, but and, see, and, I let the credits roll, and then you get a little clip of the Wolfman at the end there. And yeah, that's it. I like, but I watch it whenever a movie's like that, and there's something going on the screen, and the credits are rolling. Yeah, I still watch it. I had to watch that burger oh, yeah. cook. Oh, that's yeah. part of the movie. Exactly. So because you never know. If what's it's just happen. credits, forget it. Right. So, so there we go, man. The 1981 Howling. Yeah, the Howling. Very. It's a very very good movie that I think I think it holds up well. And now it's had about you know, six sequels, which I don't think I've seen any of them. You know, I mean, we we this original, you know, is something we've we've but there's held been a lot of sequels. A little bit, I know, and, and I know one of them. Not sure at least, how they are. Let us know in the comments, guys, if if they're worth watching. What you guys should on your shows, are, are you should howling? rank them. Are they are they the howling? <laughs> uh, are they worth watching? Yeah, let us know which ones you. I'm sure all of them are the worth comment. watching. I know one of them at least is based more closely on the book than the original movie, but I yeah. don't know which one, and mm. I'm probably not going to seek it out. No. <laughs> but you guys should totally rank them. Do it. Yeah, let us know in the Watch comments. Watch them there. all, based so about two days of your life, watching them all, and then come back and rank them. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah. So you, you got any other little bits that you... Um, no, I don't got any got other, out of movie? I don't have any other tickets. You're ready to go home to... and go to sleep, huh? huh? No. No, okay. I'll go all night long, man. Go home and <laughs> all night roll long. a J and <laughs> So yeah, uh there you go. Uh another movie in the books. Uh if you are on iTunes, 
Thank you. You know, we've, we got oh, some. Oh, yeah. We got some people from the, the Philippines uh, that and just. You said some are from Vietnam, the, I think. And Vietnam. I, I uh, figure the, that one. The, the one guy's on a, a military base. I forget which one he said in, in, in Vietnam. Uh, so shout out to you if you're listening right now. Yeah, thanks, um, man. We appreciate everybody who listens on iTunes. Uh, so if you're listening to, to this right now, uh, all around the world, uh, we appreciate it, man. And, and we hope you get enjoyment somewhat on our little antics that we do sometimes <laughs> and, and go off. So, you know, especially the guys on the military bases. We, we get a lot. Ev- evidently, it seems like that's those are the people in some of those countries really? that are listening to our, our show. Cool. And appreciate knowing that now. Um, so that's really, really cool, man. Um, and thank you for serving for our country, too. So Thank you. Um, with that said, check out uh, Facebook. We're on there. Always, you know, put everything. We're on uh, Twitter, Instagram, MySpace, Pinterest. Uh, Vines. Uh, that's a new one we got videos up on, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't even think they're around no more, but we still upload Daily to Motion. Daily Motion. Bit Shoot. Um, Poop Shoot. Yeah. Grandma's DVD player. Yep. You see us everywhere. Um, Alice's Diner. <laughs> um, yeah, so there you go. Kiss our ass. <laughs>